While I had no plans to be at the game, I found myself around about evening time really wishing that I were out there, on the scene, partying. Now, why? Because I care about football? No. Do not care about football. Don't know the first thing about it. But I know that there were a lot of parties around it. I know football can be fun, you know. So, my point is this. How do I balance having a social life, running my organizational development business, and working on my newer, burgeoning business of Vision Quest Retreats? Well, I guess I have to have a balance. I have to sacrifice. Today was one of those days. It was killing me. I sent texts to people, pinging them, what's going on, what's out there? I tried to stay off of Facebook because I knew as soon as I went on Facebook I would see some party pictures and I would, you know, want to jump. But I kept myself inside and I took heart. I took heart. One of the reasons why I need to stay inside, not just to write, but also the research that I need to be doing. I need to be reading other books that relate to this um, book that I'm writing, that relate to the heroine's quest, to living your visions of success. Excuse me. <coughs> It's a little problem when you start choking. And it's good to have that water handy. But I don't know if it's going to stave off the choking. So why don't I interrupt the vlog to do a little book talk. I want to show you one of the books that I've started reading that is um, one of the other reasons why I need some inside time for the reading and the researching. This is a book called Unveiling the Inner Journey, recently published by my good friend and colleague, Aliana J. Marin. And it's a gorgeous book. I don't mean just the way it looks, obviously, although that is a beautiful picture. Aliana is a belly dance instructor as well as a brilliant uh, PhD inventor. And she has now written this book, which is about the, not the process that we go through as women uh, to become fully woman. Shout out to Erica Walker Thomas on Becoming Woman's Movement. But, it's about the different archetypes that we embody as women. That's a big topic for me as well. Uh, you can't see around the room because I don't have anybody operating the camera. It's just resting on some books. But um, I have a goddess series of paintings around me. Well, actually, I do have one behind me. That's the, the goddess of fire, night, and magic. She's a three-headed goddess. I'm not going to go into explaining that right now. You have to go, you can go to NicoleCuts.com if you want to know about the art. I don't have time for that right now. But this is a book that I highly recommend. I'm about 36 pages into this 400 and something page book, which is also giving me heart because I know that Aliana sacrificed. She stayed inside for a long time to write this book and it paid off because it is well written and um, it's going to, it's something that she's leaving to the world. And that's something I'd like to do with my book as well. I want to give something to the world. I also have another little book that I want to share with you because I'm very excited about this. This is Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Um, I thought that I knew about Joseph Campbell's work. I think I knew a teeny weeny little drop. Really, there's so much to learn. So I'm giving myself my own little private Joseph Campbell course. I've gotten this book. I've been watching his Mythos series on Netflix. You can watch them instantly. I also ordered the ones that you needed to order. I'm going to be watching those. might even watch one tonight if it's not, it doesn't get too late. But do you see what I mean? All of these million things going on. I want to read all these books. I want to meet all these people. I want to have these conversations. I also want to go out and party. I want to... I want so much. But I really think the answer is sacrifice. And there's somebody else that I respect a lot. His name is Marcus Buckingham. You probably heard of him. He's written a lot on leadership and management, but he writes about strengths. He talks about what makes people happy, which is playing to your strengths. And one of the things that he found, he wrote a book recently about women and what makes them happy. Very research-based. I love it. The happiest people are those who focus on one or very few things. Do you like the way that moth, did you see that moth just came in trying to distract me? It worked, obviously. <clears throat> anyway, not the point. The point is that I do want to just sit still and focus on writing my book. And I know the time is coming, and I know it's a backward-forward process, and it's not going to be done perfectly, and some days I'm going to get a lot done, and other days I'm not. That's not really the point. The point is that I continue to strive. Hopefully you'll do the same. Hopefully you have similar experiences to what I'm talking about. Hopefully you got something out of what I said. And if you did or if you didn't, I would love if you left a comment here or on the blog, the Vision Quest Chronicles, 
which you can find on the visionquest.com, visionquest retreats, excuse me, visionquestretreats.com website. You can also visit us on Facebook at Vision Quest Retreats, where you can leave a comment, because I'll probably post this here, there, once I figure out how to do that. That's the other thing, this technical thing is a little challenging to me. Either way, I appreciate you watching. Would love if you left a comment. And I will see you next time on the next installment of the Vision Quest Chronicles. Good night.